Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today we're making a dessert, and it's a dessert my mother in law used to make. Um, and it's one of my favorites. It's very kind of 80s, but tastes really good. But before we have a look at the ingredients, as always, do me the favor if you haven't subscribed, Click the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get the notifications when new content comes online. Uh, but now let's have a look at what we need for these cherry bananas. We have our bananas, three of them. I'm making it for three people. We have some sugar. This is about um, a quarter cup and the same amount of sherry. Then we have two tablespoons of butter that's been melted two tablespoons of lemon juice, and three tablespoons of apricot jam. And this is a nice homemade one. But let's start with cutting the bananas. So first we peel them. And then we all, have, all we have to do is cut them in half, and then in half again. This depends a bit on how big your um, your oven tray or oven plate is that you're gonna put it in, but I'll show you mine. So I'm using one of these. It's like already portioned. And we just put it in like this. So four fits perfectly. And while you do this, you can also put the oven to preheat on 175 degrees Celsius. So now that our bananas are ready, we need to mix the rest, the sherry, sugar, and apricot because that goes over this afterwards. So let's mix all of that together. So we start with our sugar, our sherry, our lemon juice, our apricot jam, making sure you get all of it. Now we'll mix this together. And while we whisk this, we'll pour in the melted butter. So that's a mix ready. Now we just need to pour this over the bananas. And the quickest way to do this is just with a get rid of the whisk and take a big spoon. Making sure that you mix it as well. So our bananas are now ready to go into the preheated oven. As I said, 175 degrees. It will take about 25 minutes. But check them after 20 and see. It's important that the bananas are done and that means that they're really soft. You can take like a toothpick or something to kind of stick into them and to check. But before we put them in, do me the favor. If you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you like and you must look forward to seeing the final dessert. So hit that thumbs up button below. It helps the algorithm to find me. Let's put them in. Here we have the finished product. Now this is really, really hot and we'll let it cool a little bit. It shouldn't be cool, but it shouldn't be so hot so that you burn yourself. So let's let it cool, and then we put some ice cream on top of it, and then we can taste it. So let's cool down a bit. We have some Fior di Latte ice cream, which is basically just milk ice cream. Put it on top like that. Simple, very 80s, but incredibly good. Let's give it a try. Now it's melted a little bit because obviously I need to take a picture in between. Just try some of the sauce first. Mm. And the banana is perfectly cooked. Mm. If you like bananas, this is the dessert for you. There's a nice kind of freshness from the apricot, and also a bit of sourness from the sherry. 
The banana is so nice and sweet. You don't need ice cream with it, but I think it makes it nice and creamy. Mm. It might be old school, but what does it matter? If it tastes great, give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do me the favor, and you're not a subscriber yet, click the subscribe button and check the little bell icon. And do leave a comment below. Let me know if you liked it. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.